It's Diane with Shellcraft One in my old barn door, and we are back with um, another craft with me. We're still working in our ring binder journal. We're making pockets and um, just having fun. So that's what we're going to do today. So we're just going to go ahead and get started. I'm going to go through and find some spots for some pockets, and maybe I'll mark them this time so it'll make it a little easier, make it go faster, um, and I'll be right back. Okay, so I think we're going to start with this page here, and I think before I make the pocket, I want to, this this page is one of those um, children's dictionary pages, and it's really, really thin, so I think what I'd like to do is just reinforce it along the edge here, since we're going to put a pocket on it, um, so that it is it just makes it a little bit stronger. Um, so if I'm going to put something heavy on a thin page, I usually like to try to help it as much as I can um, to reinforce whatever needs to be reinforced. So we're just going to put some uh, washi tape on this. And while I'm doing this, um, I wanted to give y'all an update on my family. Um, yesterday, after I made that video, um, my uncle Dwayne, the one in Florida, passed away peacefully at about 5.30. Um... But actually, as soon as I finished um, videoing that video yesterday, I got a text from my sister that said that our aunt had been taken to the ER. Um, and it was determined that she had a heart attack. So, my daughter had, had said it comes in three. So, I guess that's our three. Um... Also, uh, as if that's not enough, um, my uncle that was, you know, that they had found the tumors, they, um, they did the surgery yesterday morning, and um, he came through it well. Um, they found that there were actually eight tumors instead of four, and that the one large tumor that they did the surgery to get um, was actually um, two tumors together, and it was a lot bigger than what they had thought. So, they're not sure if it was um, melanoma or if it was the cancer um, that had metastasized from his lungs. So, they are doing testing to find out which is the case. And so, we'll know after they finish those tests. Um... So that is an update on my family, and um, but we're very, very thankful that my uncle, he came through the surgery and he did well. He was coherent last night, and um, he, uh, we thought they weren't going to be able to do the surgery, but they were able to go ahead and do it. So he was coherent last night. He knew where he was, and he knew that... Um, he knew who he was and where he was. He just didn't know why he was there. So, so anyways, that is an update for y'all on that. So, I'm a little calmer today, I think. <laughs> just, you know, kind of knowing everything is settled. Um, I talked to my daddy yesterday, and um, he's doing okay. So, that's a good thing. So, um, yeah. All right, so I want to put the pocket on the back side of this page because I don't want to cover up the horse because, of course, that goes with the farm type deal. So I think for this pocket, I want to do something really cool. And so I have, I want to put something colorful on here because it's kind of a very plain page. So I think what I want to do, I have this little piece here. I think it was actually, I don't know if it was from a towel or a suitcase or what, but it's, this is super cute, and I think it just goes really well with um, uh, a farm theme. So I think, um, I don't know, I kind of want something more colorful on this page. I think what I might do is a quilt pocket. So let's do that one, because I just think it will, it'll show up a lot more color. Don't y'all think? All right, so let's just open this up and pick what piece of this wonderful, wonderful quilt we want to add. I love, love, love this. With the, I think this is strawberries. That's kind of bright and colorful. 
let's see what else. Oh, I really, really like this one too. That's more florally than farmhouse type. So I think we'll go back to this side. And now I just have to decide. I really like this too. I wish y'all were here. You could tell me which one I should use. I really hate to cut this. Because this is a beautiful, beautiful little quilt piece. And I was trying to see if I could tell if it was hand stitched. I can't tell. It's possible that it's hand stitched. Okay. Well, anyway, we're going to cut it. Don't hate me. Because it's just, it's not an actual quilt. It's just the quilt top. So, and I think it'll be beautiful in this book. And whoever the sweet person is that did all of the work to stitch this together, um, we get a piece of them in our journal. Okay, so I think what I'm going to do, y'all, y'all be so proud of me. I ordered a pair of scissor sharpeners yesterday. <laughs> I finally got enough money to order a pair, so I did. So, hopefully those will be coming soon. <laughs> All right, so I think we need to kind of cut it. We need to go a little further over. I don't want to get the pocket in the, um, in the holes that I've punched. So, let's go this way. And this is how I do it. I just, <laughs> I'm an eyeballer, so I'm just going to eyeball this. Okay, so we're going to go this way, and then I'm just going to take my ruler and just kind of hold it here, just to kind of give me a guide. Um, I need, I had, y'all, since I've moved my craft room, I'm still looking for everything, so we're just going to go this way. I have a rotary cutter somewhere, I just don't know where it is right now, so... We're just going to do it this way. And I'm not trying to cut perfectly on this pocket or anything. Um, I like the, you know, the imperfections. So, all right. Oh, um, I know I did tell y'all yesterday on that video that I was going to tell you what had happened with my husband's job. So, last, uh, last week... Um, he's been think he he had um okay let me get my thoughts together because obviously I'm stuttering <laughs> I'm like holy cow Diane can you talk today <laughs> um I think I might put a pretty little piece of lace on the bottom of this what do y'all think I think that'll be cute with a piece of lace let me find a piece hang on okay I found this pretty little piece of lace so I think we'll use it if I can find the end of it. Oh, there we go. So anyway, for several months, um, one of his old friends in the business who is, um, well, he's very much a mover and a shaker, and he, um, he gets the job done. And he's been talking to him, wanting him to come and work for him. And so my husband's a very loyal person, so, you know, he's been working for this particular doctor for, several years and you know especially with the doctor going through his sickness he you know has the um he has double pneumonia flu and covid um and the man is 76 years old so you know my husband was having a really hard time um with leaving you know especially during this time and um so anyway they've been kind of talking back and forth for a while um him and his old friend and um, his old friend has what he does is he he um well he's very into um the recovery part of um uh, you know for substance abuse and mental health and um so he uh wants to do some things that will open some places that will help people. It's kind of like an intense uh, rehabilitation center where people can really, really for good get off of, you know, substance abuse, whether it be drugs or alcohol. So anyways, they've been talking for a while and 
um, he wanted to Jeff to come on board with him and be the vice president to head up that portion of his business. And so, you know, Jeff's been kind of going back and forth and trying to pray about it and decide, you know, if that's what he's supposed to do. So, anyways, it's kind of been, he had spoken to his nurse about it, the nurse that worked at the clinic with him. Um, she was his assistant and his nurse. And, um, you know, he had told her about the opportunity that he was being offered. And the clinic that he was currently working for, they had made him all kinds of promises when they hired him and, <clears throat> excuse me, things that he was going to be able to do and grow the business and yada, yada, yada. And every time he tried to do that, um, you know, he would kind of get put on hold. And so he was already frustrated there because they weren't holding their end of the bargain and they weren't keeping their promises to him. So, you know, he had spoken to her and um, asked her if she wanted to um, work for him in this new company and she was excited about it and wanted to do it and and then all of a sudden she changed her mind and she started talking about him behind his back and telling everybody or telling the you know the big bosses that you know he had which he had already talked to them and told them that he had received an offer and he was considering it you know but she just kind of went behind his back and stabbed him in the back well so it was very uncomfortable for him all week last week there. <clears throat> Excuse me. And um, I'm trying to decide if I want to put something on this edge. I don't want to make it, I don't want to do too much, but I also, I mean, I guess I kind of like this edge, but I would like to maybe put something up here, but a different type of lace. Let me find one. Okay. Um. So anyways, he was just really, really unsettled on Thursday afternoon. Um, he didn't know why, but he, he just was. And um, so, I guess it was about 11 o'clock Thursday night. He was, you know, sitting in bed and he was, you know, just kind of flipping through his phone and looking at things. And somehow, he, he found his job listed on Indeed.com. <laughs> So they had went behind his back and um, posted to hire somebody for his job and offered more money than what uh, he was making. And to go back a little further, they had offered him a whole lot more money. Um, but then, you know, when COVID hit, they were struggling a little bit and had, having a hard time. And so... He told them, you know, don't worry about, a, you know, giving me a raise or whatever right now. Um, I'll wait and um, we'll get through this, you know. So, and his business, his side of the business is what uh, pay for, for everything for both sides of the business. So, they had one side of the business that did mental health and substance abuse. And then they had another side of the business that did... Um, like workforce injuries, like for the plants and things that are local in the area. If one of their employees got hurt, they would send them um, to them. So anyways, to make a long story short, when, when he found that they had posted his job behind his back, um, you know, and offered to pay him what they were supposed to be paying him, but he told them to wait, you know, because he was trying to be good to them um, and help them out during a hard time. And so they just kind of did him dirty. So he went in on Friday morning and went and talked to the, um, the vice president of the company. And, you know, she told him, um, that they would like to talk to him and make him an offer to stay. And he said, well, you've already posted my job and you posted it offering more money to, you know, whoever than what, what I'm making. And she was, I guess she thought she was being sneaky. And so that kind of shocked her that 
he knew that she had posted his job. And so basically they just told him that um, they would go ahead and just end their, end his employment that day. So I just poked myself. Do y'all see that? Ow. <laughs> that hurt. I just poked that little pin right in my, in my thumbnail bed. Ouch. So anyways, so he just got his stuff together and he was like, okay. And that was it. And so he said that he knew that, you know, God had showed him what he was supposed to do. And so when he went in and talked to her about that and she told him to go ahead and um, just be done for the day and that would be it. So he was like, okay, well, I guess that's my answer. So um, he had to change jobs this week. It's been a crazy week, y'all. <laughs> it's been a very crazy week, but that's okay. Uh, Cause we know who has our back. God's a big God and he will take care of everything. So you don't have to live in fear when you know that, when you realize that, you know, you don't have to be afraid of the unknown and afraid of things that are going on. You just have to know who you are in him and know how much he loves you. And, um, and that'll keep you going. And it'll keep you sane. That's the main thing. <laughs> it'll keep you sane. So anyways, that's what happened with um, his job. And so uh, he has uh, worked all this week on his new job. And he absolutely loves it. And things are going really well. So, you know, it's a good thing. Even though he was done, you know kind of ugly from the other place um god just kind of made it better so that's what happened with his job so i think you're all up to date on on my life <laughs> and what's going on in our lives so that's pretty much it okay so we have a sweet little pot oh i love love the way this pocket has turned out and it I'm glad I picked this piece because it did add some really good color to the page. So let's go ahead and put this one in there. Super cute. I love the way that turned out. Okay. Oops, sorry. Up in the camera. All right, so let's go to the next page that we're going to put a pocket on. I, I love the way that turned out. That was really, really cute. All right, so let's see. On this page, what do we want to do on this page? Oh, okay. This is kind of cute. I have this. This is um, a cover of a little booklet, like a little children's book, like a scholastic. And I thought it would be super cute to put this on a page as a flip out, you know, and make some pockets in there and kind of make it a little folder because it's, um, it's a heavyweight little cover. So I thought that would be a cute idea. So let's play with that and see how we can make this adorable. Now, I will cover up this stuff and this because um, we don't really need all of that stuff on there. Um, do I really... I don't know if I want to do this one yet. I'm going to leave this one sitting here because what I want to do is I want to do my denim pocket. So let me flip this way. Let's put our denim pocket on this page because I really want to play with this. I think it is so stinking cute. And this page really doesn't have a whole lot to do with farm stuff. So I thought it would be cute just to cover that over and add this denim pocket in here. So let's do this. I love it. So I'm going to just take um, my scissors and try to trim this down as much as possible to get rid of that edge. So let's just kind of go right down the edge of that seam there. If I can get my scissors in there like I need them to be. Okay. And then let's just take a look at this 
at the top real quick because I need to decide how I want to do this. I almost wonder if I want to cut this piece out. But it would be cute to have it as like a side pocket in there. So like we would have this little pocket here, but I actually would rather have the pocket up here, I think. So I think I will just cut this piece away. Let's do that. My goodness, I am not doing so good with this this morning. <laughs> okay, here we go. We're going to get it. All right, I'm going to pause the video because I'm sure that's boring <laughs> for you watching me try and struggle cutting that out. So hang on a second. Okay, so I have trimmed that all up and I want to see if I can kind of, let me see if I can, I want to kind of, whoops. <laughs> I want to try to kind of rough this up a little bit more just so it's more visible because I like the shabby tattered look and then there's one little piece here where you can see that the, um, the threading is kind of pulling and I just kind of want to just kind of shabby that up a little bit more all right I think that's probably as good as we're gonna get we might can get some here Pull that a little. I just want it to look a little more tattered. And that'll wear more over time. There we go. Oh yeah, that's coming out good. So basically all it's doing is just kind of pulling the strings out of there and pulling some of that denim off and giving us a more tattered look. Okay, so now I have pulled some laces and some different little, just little snippets and pieces of laces that I want to add to the pocket. So let's go ahead. I want to put this up here at the top. If I can figure out which way is the right way to put it on. <laughs> So we're going to add this here. If I can get my glue to come down. And I'm hoping that it doesn't all the way cover up the loop because I, I like the loop. I want the loop to show some, but it doesn't have to show all the way. Ooh, my, my fabric tack's getting gloopy. I never can tell what the front and back is. It's just crazy. Okay, so let's see if we can stick that down in there like that. And it just adds, you know, that denim and lace feel to the pocket. And we'll give that a minute to dry. And while it's drying, I have this little piece here. I can figure out what the right side is. I think it would look cute on the pocket here. I don't want to cover up the little snaps because I like I like the metal pieces to show. So I wonder if I should go this way with it. Eh, I don't think it'll hold good that way. You could do it like that, I guess. Or maybe even like that and just do those three little pieces. Let's try that and see what that looks like. This is where I need a really thin line of my fabric tag, but I need to work on my little Sugar Bills glue bottle. that down into that line of glue I think it'll hold okay 
Very cute. Okay. And then I thought maybe down here somewhere in the corner, we could take a little piece of burlap. I want to cut these with different scissors because this does, um, burlap will dull your scissors. Not that my scissors are already dull, but. <laughs> and then this is a wired piece of ribbon. So I'm just going to pull the little wire pieces out. Can y'all see that? I'm just pulling those little pieces out and you can either use those and put some beads on them or um, you can throw them away. Whatever you want to do. I like putting beads on them. Ooh, you know what? I'm going to save these. And if we have time on this video, I'll show you what I mean about putting beads on them. And we'll, we'll, we'll do a little decoration with them. So I'm going to sit those right there for a second. All right. So I thought it would be cute. I have this little piece of lace. And I think that'll be cute hanging down. I don't know which is the front side and the back side. And then a little piece of burlap. We're just going to make like a little cluster right here. Um, and then I think, oh, you know what would be super cute here? I've got this little doily or a little doily piece. And then let's look and see if one of our yo-yos would look cute on there. I almost think it might be too much with the doily. So we're going to have to decide whether we like the yo-yo or the doily. And I have some that are different sizes. See how some are bigger than the other ones? Let's see if we can find a cute one of these to go on our denim pocket. Ooh, I kind of like the, t the tattered one. This one's ripped. You know what? Let's cut that off and see if we can use it. Okay. So if we put that there and that there, that would be cute. And it would just make it like a little cluster. I'm just playing with it to work on the placement. I almost wonder. I think it'd be better to put the dolly, I mean the yo-yo underneath the little dolly piece. Okay. All right, so let's just put this on and see what it looks like. All right, so I'm just going to put a little bit of Fabri-Tac up underneath the lace there and lay that lace down in it. And then I'm going to put some more of the Fabri-Tac down and lay it, lay our burlap into it. And it doesn't take much of the Fabri-Tac when you're using it on the laces and stuff. So, all right, and then we're going to put some on our yo-yo. Hopefully y'all can see what I'm doing. I'm kind of down here at the edge and I'll confess I'm sitting down. So, cause I got tired of standing. <laughs> okay. And so we're going to put him right here. And then we'll put some on our doily here. And then I, sometimes I'll leave these to where they don't glue down, you know, to where they're movable. Um, but I think, in this case, we're going to glue it down. Okay. So I think if we put that there. And I almost think it needs, it needs a button. It needs a button with some color. Maybe a red button. Hang on, let me, let me find a red button. Okay. So I found a red button. And I think I want to put, I'm trying to decide if I want to put some of this underneath it. But I think I want some twine. So we're going to do, I need to put my lid back on my fabric fix before it dries out. Okay. And then I think what I want to do is just take a little bit of this twine. And I'm just going to wrap it around my fingers a couple of times. And just make it look like a little rope. Like that. And then... I'm going to take some glue and do that. And then I'm just going to lay my twine down into this glue. And I'm going to press it down with my chopstick so I don't burn my fingers. <laughs> okay. All right. And then I'm going to take my button. I have a little red button here. And 
just gonna weave this through. This is some of my waxed cord that I use to bind my books with. And when I have leftover pieces, I keep it to tie in my buttons because it's, it's easier to tie this onto your buttons and it gives it um, a little more stability. Okay. And then we'll just trim that off, trim that off, and let's see. I want some blue eyelash trim under my button. Is that too much? I don't think it is. I think I like that. Okay. So I'm just going to put this little wad of eyelash trim. Okay. Maybe. <laughs> Put a little glue here. There we go. And then we'll put some glue on our button. that down. I got glue strings everywhere. Oh goodness. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna let this dry a little. See how my glue pushed up through my buttonholes? I hate that. <laughs> I hate when it does that. I shouldn't have pushed it that hard, but that's okay. Because once that dries, I can pull that off with some tweezers. All right, and then one last thing, um, because we're running out of time, so I think we'll let this be our last um, part of this video. And then um, if y'all want me to continue with pockets, uh, because I've got a few more pockets that um, I need to put in. Um, my problem is I always try to put too many in. <laughs> and now I don't want to overwhelm this pocket, so y'all... Um, we're just going to try this and see if it's too much. Um, but I'd like to put something maybe over here. Or maybe even right here. Let me just trim this off because it's... The reason I'm doing this is because I found this cute little button that I'd like to add to this pocket, possibly. Um... How cute is that? It's a little guitar. Isn't that adorable? And wouldn't that be cute on the denim blue jeans? Um, so, I don't know. What do y'all think? Do y'all think it needs to go there or over here? Hmm. I think I kind of like it over here. Okay. So we are going to put us a little glue here. Put our little ribbon in here. I'll let that dry for just a second because I'm going to need to put a little more glue here and add that. There we go. And then I think we can take a little bit of this, maybe not all of that, a little bit of this and put it down as kind of a background for the little guitar. So we'll add a little bit more glue here. And then we're just going to lay this down into here. Okay. There we go. All right, and then I almost don't think I need to put the string in that button. I think I'm just going to leave it just like it is. So stinking cute. Okay, so let's just put us some glue on our guitar button there and put him right down in there. Okay, so then all we have left to do 
is glue our pocket down. And I think I might use hot glue for this. I may regret it, but we're going to see. And I think what I'm going to do is lay this in first and then finish gluing it so that I can get my placement in a good spot and my glue doesn't dry out too fast. Okay. Probably could have come down a little further on the page, but I think it still looks cute. Alright, let's see. So now we're just going to glue it all the way around this way. And then up the side here. I just think the hot glue might hold it a little better with it being such thick denim. And voila! There we have a cute little denim pocket. How adorable is that? Oh goodness, the lighting is not great, is it? I'm so sorry. Let's try it that way. Sorry about that, guys. Is that better? I wonder if it would be better if I... Anyway, we're going to end the video here anyway, so I'll work on the lighting for the next video. So I'm going to go ahead and video the next video, uh, the, the next uh, part of me doing pockets. And I just don't want to, you know, bore y'all to death with, you know, just one thing. But, I mean, there's so many ways you can do pockets. And then in the next video, I'm hoping to do some multi-page, multi-pocket pages and things like that. So, um, we'll play and have fun and um, we'll do some decorations too. And so, we'll just keep going. So, thank y'all so much for watching. Leave any comments or questions that you have in the comment box below. Don't forget to like and subscribe for me if you will. And I hope y'all have a great day. Be kind.